sweep of the low pass filter, spectrum generator setup, starting frequency 100 kilohertz, stop frequency 30 megahertz, amplitude 10 dB attenuation, preamp off, tracking generator on, level 0 dBm, connect the input to the output, the tracking generator to the SA, normalize, Reference position 50%. Filter connected. No attenuator connected to the spectrum analyzer. Sweep. So 50% is not good enough. Try 60%. There you could see the bottom now. Set a marker. Put the marker at 7 megahertz. Do a delta. Move the delta 7 megahertz. So the delta marker is going to be at 14 megahertz. So the delta is 7 megahertz, this span is 7 megahertz, and the delta between the two is minus 33 uh, dB. So the filter, the 14 megahertz peak, is uh, 33 uh, dB down from the 7 megahertz peak. Measure the frequency response of the SNA frequency generator mode. 7 megahertz. Directly connected to the SNA. No external attenuation. Frequency 100 megahertz to 30 megahertz. Bandwidth 10 kilohertz. Amplitude 10 dB, attenuation, preamp off, tracking generator off, normalization off, hit the peak button, continuous peak on, peak table on, there's the spectrum, and there's the peaks there, 7, 14, 20 megahertz. Or 21 megahertz. Measure the frequency response of the SA connected to the low pass filter. So the SA, the SNA is connected to the low pass filter and the low pass filter is connected to the spectrum analyzer. Exactly the same setup as before, nothing's changed. There's the peak tables. So those are the values with the filter in place. Sweep of my 10 dB external attenuator. Set up the tracking generator to sweep it. Same as before. There's a marker at 7 MHz. The actual measurement is uh, 10 minus 10 dB. So, it's a, so it is in fact a 10 dB attenuator and it's flat right across from 100 to 30 megahertz. Measure the spectrum of the power amp being fed with the, the SNA directly connected to the SNA. No attenuation in line. And uh, output of the amp, no filter in place. So this is going to show 
the raw output coming uh, directly out of the the amplifier. The SA setup tracking generator turned off, normalize off, frequency 100 to 30 megahertz, bandwidth 10, 51 dB attenuation, preamp is off, and I've got an external 10 dB attenuation uh, inserted. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the amp. The amp is turned on. Let me drop my reference level, or actually raise it, so I get the peaks. So there are the peaks coming out of the amplifier. Turn on continuous peak. Turn on the peak table. So those are the raw values of the peaks coming out of the the analyzer. In this setup here's the current being drawn by the IRF 510. Measures spectrum of the power amp with the low pass filter inserted. Same setup as before. Here's the current being drawn. Here's a spectrum, exactly the same. Those are the values.